Our first step in the future of hypermedia is something called the QR code. And the QR code is this little guy right here, which you may have seen before, sort of like a barcode. And what it allows is us to do something called object hyperlinking, or the ability to link objects in reality to different kinds of hypermedia that are existing in the virtual space by pointing a camera at this that is enabled with a QR code reader we can then jump to whatever the link is and they're pretty easy for us to look at we can actually download any number of QR code generators and QR code readers and this one here is free it allows us to generate whatever QR code we want we just stick that on the object and we can link to a web page, we can link to text, we can link to a phone number, we can link to some sort of instant message that would be generated on the phone. And it's estimated that within the next year, about 50% of all cell phones that exist in the world will be smartphones. So it enables us to dramatically improve this kind of linking between reality and the virtual space, creating something that could be likened to virtuality. This is a business card with a QR code in the bottom right hand corner. The QR code is a hyperlink between reality and the internet. By using a code reader embedded in a smartphone, you can view the QR code and then use the code reader to get on the internet to the site that is linked off of the card. Another look at hypermedia future is something that involves this program from Google, this is a free download called SketchUp. And SketchUp is basically a 3D modeling tool. You can do all kinds of drawings, pretty simple interface, and kids pick up on it really easily. Um, you'd be amazed at some of the stuff that they'll do and how little time it takes for them to figure it out. But we can make some simple geometric shapes, um, do all sorts of things, color it. But if you look at some of the things that students have done, you can actually go online to a 3D warehouse, go to Get Models, and you can do a search for anything. So if you wanted to search for something like um, animal cell, you can do a search, and you can see a lot of kids' projects are already here um, that have been assigned. And, they do different things uh, for their classes. And when we combine that with another pretty amazing and powerful tool, um, pull up this cell right here. And there's a free plugin download uh, called AR Plugin. Um, it is augmented reality. It's free to do with do it for 30 seconds. Um, if you want the full powered version, you have to pay. But considering that the cost is around um, $100, and that about probably five, six years ago, this would have cost you millions of dollars, and he would have had to have had a university behind you to do it. It's pretty amazing that your kids can now access this. So um, all we do is we just click this little icon here and it takes a few seconds for it to load. We'll get a confirmation screen of what we're trying to do. We will click OK. And then the camera on my laptop, I show it this target. And there is the cell model right there in augmented reality. So we've overlaid virtual reality with real reality to create something that exists in both, which I think kids would really dig.